Happy Wednesday, and welcome to another episode of Midweek Check-In. My name is Ivan Wesley from Rebel Star Tarot, and this week's featured deck in this series is The Beginner's Guide to Tarot by Sharman Caselli, which is the first deck I started with when I got into tarot. So I'm going to shuffle the cards right now, and let's see what message we get for halfway through this week. Okay, the first card that we have is the Queen of Wands, the Nine of Wands, and the Devil card. So right away, our theme or message for this week is going to be based on creativity with the abundance of wands, uh, with its element being fire, that spark, that, that creativity, that imagination, that passion of putting energy into a project or, or, or a hobby or, or, or even a, a new career. The overall message I see with this as well too, concerning with the devil card included as well, is preservation. Preservation for the time and energy and, and passion that you've put into your project, a preservation of standing your ground. I'm seeing this with the Knight of Wands, which usually represents preparing for the worst, standing your ground, protecting and standing up for what you put together. Um, also to regain your strength and regain your strength and control where the Devil card represents a loss of control it's also a clue to tell you to get that inner strength again and get back in the driver's seat. And also to stand your ground against any negative influences, especially with social media. A lot of people could be doing the same thing as you. You might be getting negative feedback as well for what you're doing. Um, a lot of people might not even believe or trust in what you do. And you're the only one that has that confidence and you can see yourself and you're creating your own identity, your unique personal style with whatever you're doing that you're inputting, whatever you're inputting your creativity and spark into. The Queen of Wands is a good reinsurance to keep nurturing your ideas and stay grounded and just keep doing what you do and be that individual. Don't compare yourself too much to what other people are doing. Uh, who are in the same medium of what you're trying to do or in the same social circle or um, social media circle. Just stand your ground, keep doing what you do, stamp your own unique style, get, get that control and that willpower and pay no heed to the naysayers. So that's my overall message for you for this week. I thank you very much for watching an another episode of Midweek Check-In, and I look forward to seeing you next Wednesday. Thank you and take care.